Monica Valentine and this is Entertaining LA. Well, it's here. It's finally here. The holidays. A time for activities and social gatherings. But one of the most important things that people do during the holiday season is shopping for gifts. Whether it's for friends, family, loved ones, but most importantly for ourselves. Here on this episode, we're going to be talking about the holiday tips and tricks on holiday shopping. Millions of dollars has been poured into holiday spending. One of the most important days of that holiday season is Black Friday, which is the day after Thanksgiving. Black Friday has estimated over millions and millions of dollars, what is online as well as going to the actual store. And the ones that has been making millions and millions of dollars at the big name stores. I'm talking about Target, Walmart, Sears, Best Buys, you name it, the big chain stores has got it. I'm talking about the evening. Some stores start around 4 or 5 p.m., meaning people can go home, eat, and then go shopping. Now, I don't know what's been going on because I haven't seen that many ads. I haven't seen that many ads coming in through the mail, but I did check them out online. And this happened about two weeks ago that a lot of the big consumer markets have been putting out ads, putting out coupons on so, on the social media page, as well as their, ma their main website. On the big consumer markets, I'm talking about Target, Walmart, Best Buy, Sears, Kmart, and other big chains that's going to be going and taking part of the Black Friday deals. Here are some tips and tricks on what to do uh, for Black Friday. W number one is to arrive early. Now this I just find this ridiculous. Over the past years, I've seen some people over here arguing and over here starting a fight. Now, I think it's ridiculous. If you want the item that bad, just arrive early. There's no need to be fighting for the items. So, number two, make out a checklist of what you want. Just write down the items that you want, and that way you won't be stressed out of what you remember or what you want to buy and number three make sure you do some research I advise you to go to the store early I'm talking about a day or two early that way you can check out where the items going to be placed now there may, there may be some places that they might move it but just make be aware of the environment the surroundings that way you won't be stressed but where is it I can't find it I don't know where it went that way You'll be, you won't be stressed out. And number, t and number uh, four, make sure you check out what items is going to be on sale because certain places might say Black Friday items are right here, regular items, sale items are right over here. Because I got burnt once and I, I was a little bit upset. I didn't, I didn't start no fight. I didn't argue. I just walked away. But now I know, and I'm telling you, just make sure you check out. The place first check out the items that you want that way you can have a stress-free black friday now for those of you that's not going to be taking part of black friday because you have to work like i do i have to work thanksgiving day as well as throughout the entire weekend some of you may have that situation to do others you just don't want to stand in that line and go through all that madness a lot of people have been taking their attention towards cyber monday what is cyber monday uh it's a time where people can go online and check out the latest deals and purchase them. Whether you can be at work, you can be at home in your pajamas, or you can be out there anywhere in the world on your iPhones or your smartphones. And a lot of people have taken part of the Cyber Monday. Now, like I said, a lot of the big consumer markets have put their ads out about two weeks ago. It's still there. So if you plan on taking part of Cyber Monday, here are some tips and tricks for you to get the best deals. Number one, check out the item online before Cyber Monday. Number two, make out a checklist. Number three, check to see if you have enough funds in your account, whether it's your debit card, credit card, or checking account, as well as PayPal account or any other account that you're going to be t purchasing items. That way you will save time and energy and frustration in case you make your final purchases. And number four, read the fine print before purchasing, whether it's your insurance in case the item get lost, to how much you need to spend in order to get the deals you want. Now the last one is definitely 
that bugs me. Some people say that you have to buy a uh, almost a hundred dollars in order to get 25 percent off or so on and so forth so if you want to get that deal make sure you read the fine print that's all i said to you small business saturday now that's an event that that people should definitely take a part of for those of you that's not going to be a part of the cyber monday as well as the black friday or black thursday event definitely support the small businesses whether you live in a small town or if you just want a smaller environment to go for shopping, that's definitely a place, place, time for you to go and buy your holiday gifts. For more information about uh, Small Business Saturday, definitely check out your local retailers for information about certain holiday events as well as sales going on throughout the entire holiday season. I would like to say thank you for watching and make sure you check back again on my YouTube channel as we check out the hottest places to go for the holiday season. i like to say that again, thank you for watching, thank you for your support from my YouTube channel and I hope to see you all next time. Have a good day.